Today, folks, I am on the hunt for underpriced video games. I'm gonna be going to three pawn shops just like this one and one video game store. And at the end of the video, we'll get to see who wins the battle royale of game hunting for underpriced games. They've got Kylo Ren's lightsaber here, what the heck? Another thing that caught my eye was that brand new Stadia Premier Edition back there, but unfortunately it's priced at 80 and it only goes for 40 sealed. And the rest of the stuff in this case does seem to be priced just about at market value or a little higher, but we may not be out of luck yet. Ooh, I take it back, folks. There's one game that they've underpriced right there. Call of Duty Ghosts at $5 is a great deal. Check this out, 29 after fee, so that'll be a great buy. This is the other section I tend to have pretty good luck with because they tend to be really cheap. Excuse me, how much are these games here? They are typically five dollars each or two for each. So four bucks is honestly a little bit expensive on these, but this is one that at four we'll probably pick up. Yeah, it looks like the lowest very good copy on Amazon is 34 bucks. So we should be able to turn a solid profit on this guy. Whoa, uh, just kidding, the disc is yucky. Oh, <laughs> Not even the right disc, never mind. Wow. And the ones that aren't priced, is there like a standard price for those? I can find out. Okay. It's my second day. I'm learning. <laughs> hey, that's all right. <laughs> <laughs> Did you know on the games that aren't priced, is there like a standard price for them? Okay, like the PS4, Xbox games, Yeah. those are gonna be $5 if it doesn't have a price. Okay, Now, cool. Switch games are not the same. We just have to look those up and see what they're going for. And we gotcha, go okay. I was looking at this um, Diablo maybe. You had 39 on it, would you go 30? See what I've got in it, we might be able to do something. Yeah, not a problem. No game on that one. We can do 30 plus packs on that if you want. Uh, sure, I'll do that. Thank you. All right, I'll go ahead and do these three along with the Switch one. Oh man, folks, not every day you see a Big Buck Hunter Pro arcade cab. <laughs> Dang folks, really strong start on the pawn shop side. Let's break it down. So the total I spent in there was 47 bucks and some change. And the way I look at it oftentimes is that this game will completely pay for that. Meaning that these three are the profit. We're getting 11 bucks after fees for this one, 10 bucks after fees for seven days to die. And Werewolf was the big winner at $29 after fees. Which means we can already chalk up $50 to the pawn shops. Let's get to the next one. Now you might be asking right now, Caleb, how come it's three pawn shops versus one video game store? And there are actually a couple reasons. One is that even though pawn shops are much more likely to underprice stuff, they have way less, <gasps> whoa, backpack on the ground. They have way less inventory in general. And the other reason is that this video game store I'm going to today is brand new. It just opened up in the last couple months and I've never been there before. So I'm pretty optimistic we're gonna find a decent amount of stuff. Do have games, video games confirmed. Hey there, y'all didn't have any other video game stuff, did ya? Okay, thanks anyway. And folks, that is reason number three why we need three pawn shops. All right folks, pawn shop number three, Madison, Gun, and Pawn. Let's see what they got. If I was able to buy like a handful of these, do you guys work any discounts that way? We can. Okay, appreciate it, thank you. You're welcome. Uh, I was just looking at, I saw you had a couple cartridge games back there. Uh, N64 looks like. Were those bundled with the console or? I don't think so. Okay, gotcha. And y'all didn't have any like DS's or anything like that? Any handhelds? Would those be oh, over here maybe? Okay. $90 on Pokemon Ooh. Sword is interesting. This um, blue one over here, could I take a look at that? Yeah. Do, do you know, does it have a charger with it? There's no charger out here with it, so. Okay. Yeah, it'd be great to be able to test it. Do you know, did y'all have much wiggle room on the 99 then? If I can't um, test it? Shows a picture with a charger. From when it came in, you mean? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I probably got 80 bucks on it. Okay. Would you throw in one of the DS games? I'd say either one of these, the Professor Layton ones. Yeah, I'll do it. Just pick one. Okay, um, let's do the green one. Appreciate it. And then I did find this guy as well. Oh. Now, folks, I talk a lot in these videos about building a collection, but 
What about when you have a specific need that arises? For example, your mouse breaks, or you need a computer upgrade, or you want some new Switch accessories. Well, that's where this video's sponsor, Micro Center, comes into play. Micro Center is one of the largest consumer electronics retailers in the US. Millions of gamers have trusted them for their electronics and computer needs. They have over 30,000 products in stock, so they're a great place to go when you have a specific need that comes up. I recently needed to find an external battery pack for my phone and camera for while I'm out game hunting and shooting videos. So I hopped onto microcenter.com and they had a great selection with really good prices. Micro Center is also offering new customers a free 128 gig flash drive and 128 gig micro SD card. Now there's a limit of one per person, but there's no purchase necessary. You can check out the link in my description to see how to get yours. Thanks a bunch to Micro Center for sponsoring this video. Now back to the game hunting. All right, folks, that is the power of negotiation right there. Let me break this one down for you. So the total sticker price of all of this stuff was supposed to be $125. I only ended up paying 90. And also it came with this uh, little Mario Kart, Mario Kart 7 game. Unwound Future ended up getting thrown in as well. So here's the thing about this purchase. I almost never buy handhelds if I can't test them, but this one ended up being such a good deal that I'm confident even if this thing doesn't work, I can sell it for parts for around $40. And I can sell these games for around 20 after fees combined. So I'm really only risking being out 20 bucks or so on this whole deal. But if it ends up working, and again, they almost always do. I rarely have issues with 3DSs. I'm gonna assume for now that it does work, which puts our expected profit from this stop at $70, bringing our total for the pawn shops to 120. Not a bad number to beat for our final stop of the day. Okay, folks, this is crazy. Collectibles Etc. is a store that, as you can see, does have video games that didn't come up when I was searching video game stores in this area. So this is actually not the one that I'm going to end the video with. We're not going to count anything I find here into the profit totals, because frankly, I don't think this last game exchange is gonna need any help, but I can't stumble upon a video game store like this and just not explore it. I'd, I'd be doing you guys a disservice. Folks, I gotta say, for being a general, like, collectible store, the video game selection in here is honestly pretty impressive. I mean, look at this. Everything from NES, Super Nintendo, Wii stuff down there. It's just, it's a lot of stuff. And check this out, a little GameCube section, not a GameCube branded episode, but still, cool to see. Here's one that I'll probably pull the trigger on. Don't see this too much. Panzer General in nice shape. And when I looked it up, I noticed that there are no FBA listings. So I could probably set a pretty decent price on that one on Amazon. Well, folks, collectibles, etc. A little bit of a hidden gem here in Richmond, Kentucky. Definitely stop by if you're in the area. Picked up Panzer General, like I said. Should probably, I would, I think, Based on my experience on Amazon, I think I can get at least 30 after fees for this one. And also picked up, check this out, a Pokemon hey, Edition Game Boy Color. You. Don't run across these every day. Uh, 100 bucks, not a bad deal. The only thing is, it's a replacement battery cap. I was gonna sell this on Amazon, but I may actually just throw it on whatnot because I think it's the kind of thing a lot of people would really like to see. And without further ado, let's get to this new game exchange. All right, folks, here we are, last stop of the day, game exchange. What I wanna know from you guys right now is, how do you primarily buy video games? Do you go to local game stores like this? Do you go online? Do you buy digital? Do you spend the time to hunt at pawn shops and thrift stores? I'd just be curious to know for all of you. And honestly, as I'm getting closer to this store, it looks like one of the smaller game exchanges I've been to. So your guess is as good as mine whether we'll be able to hit that $120 expected profit mark. Ooh, check out what we just found in the book section down here. A little bit of game guide action. Uh, 29 seems like a lot for that. Ooh, Twilight Princess GameCube. Five bucks? Fire Emblem. That's cool too. And Wind Waker. Dang, they got some great ones here. I feel like, I don't know if, if like the first character is chopped off of that or if that's actually $9.99, but it seems like a decent deal. Heart Gold Soul Silver. Oh, Crystal 2, dang, their guide selection is banging. I was wondering on these, I couldn't tell on the price, is the first number chopped off on that? 
or yeah it's 1999 19 but i'll honor it oh cool well thank you are these also ones on those yeah they're supposed to be okay well i'll think on those ones too Okay. Oh, nice Pokemon section too. That's cool. Normally I like to pick up these wrestling games here. Smackdown 2006, but this one not having the manual, I'll probably pass. Bakugan is a little bit interesting. Eh, no manual, yeah, I'll probably pass on that too. Jurassic the Hunted for 13, complete. Uh, definitely not bad. Looks like very good condition. Lowest is 30 bucks, so that should be close to a double up. <laughs> and check this out, folks. $23 on Mario Sluggers, complete. Lowest copy is 46 on Amazon or 35 after fees. That is a sweet deal. Oh, this is a good find right here. Madden XX Collector's Edition because it does. It's supposed to have Head Coach 09 in here, which I think is still like a $30 game or so. So for eight, we will take it. Speaking of Head Coach 09, we've got not one, but two complete copies here. Looks like, yep, both complete. They're 25 bucks and look at that lowest copy, 37 after fees. Just, it's just too easy, folks. Here's another good one for 10 bucks. Well, either 10 bucks or 13 bucks. Uh, Pac-Man goes to the adventures. I don't think these actually came with a manual originally. And look at that lowest, very good copy, at least for prime, $39. That's kind of crazy. Here's another one in the Xbox section. Didn't originally come with a manual and uh, for 25, we'll pick it up. Ooh, there's one I think is going to be a great deal at 50 because there's almost no prime listings on that listing on Amazon. That's pretty good to see. And oh my gosh, they've got multiple. One, two, three, four, four different hundred plus dollar PS1 games. That's crazy. And look at this. This is when I accidentally scanned when I was trying to scan Rave Master because I've never seen that on the GameCube before. But this one, gold edition of Marvel Ultimate Alliance for 70. Check that out. Lowest listing, 100 after fees on Amazon, crazy stuff. And speaking of Rave Master, I think we may go ahead and do that one as well for 25. Seems like, oh, 23. Good deal. <laughs> <laughs> Would you mind, could I take a look at the um, Metal Gear Solid and Gold Edition Ultimate Alliance? I will go ahead and do those. Do y'all have a uh, resurface machine? Yep. Oh, cool. This one looks a little, little scratchy, but I think I will do that. Yeah, that other disc looks good. Thank you. Okay. And you know, folks, one thing that I don't talk about nearly enough on this channel is just like how lucky I feel to be doing this. Like the fact that coming into a video game store, scanning games is my job. <laughs> I just, I believe so deeply that we live in a country very rich in opportunity and uh, to be able to bring you guys along for the journey as I, you know, flip my way to financial freedom, hopefully one day, one $10 game at a time uh, is just, I don't know, it's such a blessing. Uh-oh, folks, look at this. It's my man, Gexy. Bloody baboon! $25, lowest very good on Amazon is uh, 52, which puts me at maybe like 40 to 45. I'm gonna go ahead and pull the trigger just because the OGs will know. Gex and I have a little bit of a history. Hey there, uh, I need some more Gex in my life. Can you guys help me with that? And gosh, Gauntlet Legends for 20 is a great deal too. Look at that, 31 after fees all day. Well, folks, it appears my intuition about the Richmond Gaming exchange was correct let's break it down all right folks sorry for the weird lighting on this but we ended up spending 420 something dollars at that stop most of it i've mentioned already one thing i didn't was he ended up doing 10 bucks a piece on the guides which is really cool they were like semi mispriced i was like dude you don't have to give me a discount if you don't